we will study about the neck muscles of the ox so this triangular muscle is called as the trapezius so this is a trapezius muscle below the trapezius comes the uh, brachiocephalicus so just below the brachiocephalicus there is a thin band of muscle called as homo transversarius on reflecting both trapezius and brachiocephalicus next comes the here uh, we'll get the rhomboidus so this muscle is a rhomboidus muscle below the rhomboidus comes the splenius so this muscle is a splenius and below splenius is the complexus so this muscle is the complexus and this large muscle is the serratus so serratus ser services and <coughs> caudal to serratus services is the serratus thoracis on reflecting serratus services and thoracis we will get the complexus on reflecting complexus we will get the ligamentum nuque the longissimus dorsi two parts and the uh, lo longest epitis so below the longissimus uh, dorsi comes the longissimus costorum so these each muscle are the muscles are the muscle bands are the longissimus costorum hmm. now the uh, longissimus dorsi has two parts that is the dorsal part and the ventral part so this is the dorsal one this is the ventral one on reflecting on or below the longissimus dorsi comes the multifidus so near the cervical part it is called as the multifidus services so multifidus services is each band each band of muscle is called multifidus services and this is the multifidus thoracis these are the multifidus dorsi on the so the uh, longissimus dorsi has two parts as i told uh, the dorsal part and the ventral part dorsal part will run below the complex muscle so the complexus will be here the dorsal part runs below the complexus whereas the ventral part runs above the complexus okay, on the near to the head region there are uh, some muscles called as this is the rectus capitis dorsalis so there are two rectus capitis dorsalis major and below it is rectus capitis dorsalis minor below the rectus capitis comes the obliquus obliquus capitis caudalis so this is the obliquus capitis caudalis which runs from the atlas to the axis whereas obliquus capitis uh, cranialis is on the cranial region here which is cut in this in this uh, specimen okay now the ligamentum nuque uh, which is the cervical part of the supraspinous ligament has two parts that is funicular part and the below is the la lamellar part so funicular part will um, attach to the external occipital protuberance whereas the lamellar part will uh, attach to the spinous process of first four cervical vertebrae the lamellar part has again is divided into two parts that is right side and the left one right and left so underneath the serratus dorsalis comes a small so underneath the serratus thoracis comes a small um, muscle bundle called as the serratus dorsalis cranialis and it has a three parts or it has three three digitations okay serratus dorsalis cranialis has three digitations which will get uh, inserted here okay. the serratus dorsalis cranialis comes the serratus dorsalis caudalis this muscle bundle and there are three muscles uh, in the intercostal region that is in between the ribs there are three muscles that is one is levator costorum which is directed downward and backward uh be, below the levator costorum comes the external intercostal muscle so this is the external intercostal muscle which is in the same direction that is downward and backward below the external intercostal comes the internal intercostal muscle which is directed downward and forward and external intercostal helps in inspiration Inst yeah. whereas internal intercostal helps in expiration so this muscle is the rectus thoracis this muscle whereas these Uh, are the scalenus so scalenus has two parts the uh, dorsal and ventral in between those two bundles the brachial plexus emerges okay now we'll study about the ventral aspect of the neck region and ventral muscle ventral group of muscles so between the uh, brachiocephalicus comes the jugular furrow and this below the jugular furrow comes the sternocephalicus so sternocephalicus has two parts one is sterno mandibularis and this muscle is sternomastoideus this is a jugular vein 
Okay. Now, this muscle is the sternothyrohyoideus. So, sternothyrohyoideus has two parts. One is sternohyoideus, which is going from the from coming from the sternum and going to the hyoid. Where, and this is the sternothyroideus from the sternum to the thyroid region. And this muscle is the from thyroid to hyoid. It is the sternohyoideus. So, this muscle is sternohyoideus. Okay. The as I told, uh, sterno Thyroidus has two parts: sternothyroidus and sternohyoidus. Here, this small muscle bundle is called as the thyrohyoidus, from th thyroid gland to the hyoid process. Above the thyrohyoidus comes the omohyoidus. So, this muscle is the omohyoidus. Okay, below the sternocephalicus, there is a muscle called as longus coli. So, this thick muscle is called as longus coli. Okay, this uh, there are multiple uh, muscle bundles here called as intertransversary colli okay on the ventral aspect of the uh, mandible comes the mylohyoideus and in between uh, there is a transverse muscle uh, muscle bundle called as the intermandibularis so this muscle is the intermandibularis and this is the my uh, mylohyoideus